from Senator Elizabeth Warren slamming Michael Bloomberg in last night's debate, but is it enough to keep her in the race? That's the question of the morning. And joining us right now with reaction to last night's debate is pollster and political strategist Frank Luntz. Uh, it was Mike Bloomberg's first debate. He fielded attacks, as you know, uh, from all sides. And just want to show everybody a quick exchange between Bernie Sanders and Mike Bloomberg. I believe in democratic socialism okay, for enough. working people, not billionaires. Health care for all, Please. educational opportunity all right, Senator, for all. Senator, thank you. Mayor Creating Bloomberg, would you like to, that the, the question all, was about socialism. socialism. What a wonderful country we have. The best known socialist in the country happens to be a millionaire with three houses. What I miss here? Well, you'll miss that I work in Washington, House 1. That's the first problem. Live in Burlington, House 2. That's good. And like thousands of other Vermonters, I do have a summer camp. But, Forgive me for that. But, Where is your home? But, which, tax, which tax haven New do you York, have your home? New York City, thank you very much. Yeah, right, and I yeah, pay so all I'm my home. taxes. <laughs> and I'm happy to do it because I get something for it. Mike Bloomberg also facing uh, withering attacks from Elizabeth Warren. And I hope you heard what his defense was. I've been nice to some women. <laughs> that just doesn't cut it. The mayor has to stand on his record. And what we need to know is exactly what's lurking out there. He has gotten some number of women, dozens, who knows, to sign non-disclosure agreements, both for sexual harassment and for gender discrimination in the workplace. So, Mr. Mayor, are you willing to release all of those women from those non-disclosure agreements so we can hear their side of the story? We have a very few non-disclosure agreements. How, how many Let is that? Let me finish. How many is that? None of them accuse me of doing anything other than... Frank, I want to get your reaction to all of this. Um, I thought that was a particularly vulnerable uh, and challenging moment uh, for Mayor Bloomberg. I think the whole night was a challenging moment. I want to take you back to 2012, when Rick Perry was moving three or four points a week in the race against Mitt Romney, he uh, participates in the first debate, and he's destroyed, and it ends his candidacy. I think Mike Bloomberg, we will look back at this debate potentially as the beginning of the end, because he did not come across as prepared. And more importantly, I don't think he captured the tone of the audience, that he doesn't understand that there are more women than men who are Democrats, that they don't like this uh, aggressive behavior. And I don't think, in Bloomberg's uh, defense of capitalism against social socialism, he doesn't realize that so many Democrats prioritize socialism over Frank, capitalism. Frank, I want to ask you about the preparedness issue, because he, I know, will say he only got into this uh, campaign 10, 10 weeks ago, but he's been pre preparing for this for a very, very long time. How could he not have been more prepared? Well, and what yeah. were the right answers to some of these questions? Well, I so it, I want viewers to know that I did work for Bloomberg in 2001. And back then, he doesn't like language. He doesn't like debates. He doesn't like that kind of give and take. That's not what he's about. The problem is, it's what the Democrats are about. And he should have known that these candidates were going to take him on. Frankly, I don't know what the response is for the uh, the challenge about the non-disclosure agreements. In terms of capitalism versus socialism, he's got to remember, he should know, that the average Democrat is working class, the average Democrat is middle income, and having a capitalism versus socialism debate among the average Democrat, Bloomberg's going to lose that, and Bernie Sanders, and this is the reason why he's leading right now, is going to win that contest. So, Frank, do you believe Bloomberg will follow through on his promise to spend another half a billion dollars defeating Donald Trump on one of these people that just, you know, completely uh, eviscerated him last night? Do you think he, once he realized, you just said maybe it's the beginning of the end of his candidacy, if he sees that he's not going to be the candidate, will he follow through and spend another four or five hundred million dollars on somebody else? Well, he's not done because we still have a South Carolina debate coming up. And Super Tuesday, if you look at the state by state polling, Bloomberg has actually taken the lead in some of these states. But if He's he doesn't, if he, if well, you said that it's probably the beginning of the end. If it was, do you believe he will follow through and spend his money to defeat Donald Trump by, by backing Bernie Sanders or, or whomever the eventual nominee is? Do you believe I, he'll do that? I think uh, Mike Bloomberg 
will have a problem backing Bernie Sanders or Elizabeth Warren because okay. he simply disagrees with them ideologically on their economic well, time, do you think this? Do you think last night's performance by Elizabeth Warren puts her back in the game in a way that she might not have been just uh, 24 hours ago? I'm going to surprise you, but my answer is no. Okay. Because well, Democrats that? don't like Democrats attacking Democrats. They want you to focus on Donald Trump. But that's and, what Bernie Sanders has been doing so successfully, and he seems to be the front runner. And that's exactly why he's the front runner. And Elizabeth Warren attacking Buttigieg as well as Bloomberg. I don't think that sits well with the average Democrat. I will tell you. No, no. Last... Bernie Sanders has been attacking his other, his, his competitors in this race. No. Uh, he, he's been speaking clearly and loudly and in a pronounced way, Honestly. in a position that for the center of the Democratic Party, and they like what he's saying. And he is going after Trump more than the rest of them. I think last night was a good, good debate night for Sanders because he clearly articulated a point of view that none of you may agree with. But for the center of the Democratic Party, yeah. remember, this is not the center of America. For the center of the Democratic Party, Bernie Sanders speaks to them. He's emotional. He's passionate. And it's the reason why he's now the front runner.